My football career ended with a hit. My body spun, my foot, firmly planted in the grass, didn't. Fifteen weeks of the season disappeared, ankle dislocated, the future I wanted so badly, gone. I grew up in a Christian home. I saw much of life through a God lens. So why was he doing this to me? Why couldn't I play? It didn't matter. I thought he was telling me to hang it up, find something new. That's why when small schools came offering, I said no. I chose Mizzou. It wasn't an adventurous pick. I wasn't that excited. I just went. In fact, four years removed, I'm still lukewarm to the university. I didn't have the time of my life, find a wife like my brother did, or even get an education I think I would use. In fact, for me, Mizzou often meant struggle. These four years have been marked with stress, strife, disappointment, and death. I could count on one hand the times I wasn't battling one of these. So I was left with more questions. Why did I have to leave football? Shouldn't that sacrifice be rewarded with happiness? The answer came in verse. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. I believe I was being pruned. Football was a branch that bore no fruit. If it didn't end in high school, it would have in college. It had me seeking something finite, with conclusion and ultimately unfulfillment. Mizzou brought me to answers, not to tests or quizzes, algorithms or essay questions. No, Mizzou introduced me to people who could answer big God questions, people with more understanding, people who helped bring me to an eternal friendship with God, which is far more valuable than 60-minute matches of run and pass. Anyone who tells you that a Christian life is a glass full of happiness is either lying or delusional. Often there is struggle, often there is heartache. In my weakness, my struggles, I was given strength. I was given a relationship with God, by God, and I believed that was worth the pruning. That was worth being cut back, so I could grow. It took four years, and more troubles might await. But asked if I'd do it again, I believe I'd say yes.